this is another tool review. Because it seems like that's all I do lately is review tools. I do have a bike update, but I was going to work on it tonight, but I'm like, I don't know. Maybe I should just set up the camera and grind on it. I got I got to get it done anyway, so it's, it's going to get done. Believe you me, it's going to get done. Um, tonight's video, you might have seen this used in another video, but I picked up a... DeWalt DFC 889, this thing. It's a cordless impact wrench. What I use it for? <clears throat> I actually seen some, like, <coughs> I don't do a lot of mechanical stuff, but when it comes to taking off lug nuts, this puppy works good. Um, I've So far, I've used it to strip a bolt on a three-wheeler after I heated it up. Worked great, stripped it right off. Um, I used it to, uh, what do you call it, uh, change a, a tire and a few other bolts. So my initial impression is, um, they're not cheap. My other impact tool sucks because it's an air, a small air one. It's not very good. And, um, I don't know. I don't even know how to review this because I don't really like, I'll probably just use it for lug nuts. That's pretty much it. Like I might change the tires on my car. Like I don't even know. Like see, I don't. I don't know much about this. To be fair, I don't think most home users or people like me shouldn't even own one of these things. It's just buy an electric shit box off of like Harbor Freight or something. But since I have batteries for these things, I figured why not, right? So it's pretty heavy. It's got a nice paint job on it. It's got a pretty little yellow thing. It says it's a 0 to 2300 IPM, 20 volt max, 0 to 1500 RPMs per minute. It's got a QR code on it, and it says NOM, NOM ANTS. I don't know what the hell that means. Type 3, it says. I don't know. Like, so to be fair, I don't know shit about these. I don't use them every day. It's not a tool I ever use very often. It's nice and shiny. It has the shiny bits and it has screws and it makes noise. Well, it has light on it. I, I really don't like these lights that shine up. I like the what lights up here that go straight ahead or down the bottom here. I find these are stupid. I find. Because then you can't use them as a flashlight anymore. Other than that, other than having a glorified flashlight, <coughs> I don't know tell you. I really don't know. If um, you're a mechanic, you know more than me. Good luck. It's more power to you. But for the average homo homeowner, home user, pe person like me, I don't really need this. Like, it's not an everyday tool. It's not something I would have bought unless that bolt got stuck. So, and I went to go try different things. And if it doesn't work, I could have just used a 20 pound sledgehammer like I did. I would have avoided buying one of these. Then I wouldn't be able to make a video. And then I wouldn't have some fancy tool that I don't really, really need, but I have it. So, there goes that one. Um, yeah, maybe I'll just try it out on every bolt on that engine over there. Yeah. So anyway, with that, um, DeWalt, um, what, what did I say this was? A DeWalt uh, DFC 889 impact wrench, half inch. I think it's cool. Looks nice. It's pretty. But I honestly, to be fair to you guys, I can't really give you a... Um, like, like how do you even rate this thing? You, do I do a, like that Project Farm and test out 15 of them and tell you how good it is? <coughs> so, but I mean, for the average Joe, I would think it's, it's perfectly fine. Price-wise, it's probably twice the price as a electric. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Twice the price as a pneumatic one. But this one's a little stronger than the cheap pneumatic one I have. Um, <coughs> next time I, I usually buy DeWalt tools when they're on sale and giving away like six batteries or some ridiculous thing, like buy the tool, buy this and get like four batteries in the charger. It's usually the only way I buy stuff for, uh, new batteries. So anyway, hope you, uh, enjoy. If you have one, please let me know how you like it. And, uh, thanks for watching and hope you didn't waste four minutes of your life. Terrible. Thanks for watching.